no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net People have wanted to know for the past six months or more, what is Occupy doing now? Does it really matter at all? It's like Lindsay Lohan. It was so big and now it's nothing, nothing, nothing but a massive global movement consisting of millions of people in thousands of cities with no defined leader, structure, or propaganda head that changed the conversation across America, protected countless homeowners from eviction, created a worldwide online community of people who don't take no shit because they give a shit about unfucking the world. It's nothing but a movement that is helping hurricane victims where the federal government falls short and eliminating the life-crushing debt of hundreds and possibly thousands of people. But besides that stuff, what have they done for me lately? They don't wash my car, they don't take out my trash, they haven't burnt down the White House. What the fuck do they do? It's really a pity Occupy hasn't lived up to everyone's expectations of a spontaneous global leaderless movement. Maybe next time we'll bring goodie bags. Well, I take that back. We already have the goodie bags. Inside, you won't find a plastic transformer or a neurotoxin Barbie. Instead, you'll find debt forgiveness. An offshoot of Occupy called Strike Debt is now working to buy up the most gruesome of unfettered capitalism's greedy slime bombs, oppressive debt. Medical bills that destroy people's lives, home loans that put families and children out on the sidewalks to be walked over and gawked at like a poor, sad sideshow of the lowest form. These debts can be purchased for pennies on the dollar. And when the blood-sucking profit whores buy the debt, they go after the ill and the homeless, the destitute and the hopeless, for every dime they can grasp between their webbed claws in order to fill their Scrooge McDuck-style swimming pools. But when Strike Dead buys the debt, they do something else. Something unthinkable, unimaginable, unfathomable. Something on the level of sanity coming out of Rush Limbaugh's toxic pie hole. Strike Dead erases it giving people, human beings, a second chance at a real life. Through Strike Debt and Occupy Sandy and Occupy Foreclosures, we're seeing the heart, the core of Occupy. We're seeing the nebulous node at the center of this global energy. It's the idea of people over profit, good over greed. It's a mental evolution of the revolution kind. And that's why it makes corporate America uh, feces themselves. And I think this is where Occupy should continue to head. It should keep helping people for free in a world that claims that anything done without a profit is a fool's errand performed by an errant fool. Occupy should set up free medical clinics in the middle of towns, free dental services, debt advice, food and clothing, and possibly even hand jobs. And then when the cops come to shut down the occupations to shove their public good down our throats with nightsticks, they'll have to arrest the evil villains providing free medical care, the sinful freaks stacking clothing for the cold, the devious, malevolent, foul hippies feeding the hungry. Let the negligent media come down and report on the police knocking over pots of soup and handcuffing nurses. Be our guest. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Strike Debt has already received enough donations to eliminate nearly $9 million of debt. Go to StrikeDebt.com to learn more and to donate. And leave a comment under this video about whether you agree with me. Is this the proper way forward for Occupy? One commenter will win a free digital download of my live comedy album. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep. Swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.